Hey guys, so now that we have uh, the latest Android Nugget software on pretty much all the latest flagship phones, I wanted to do a quick little comparison of the software here, uh, looking at the features and the user interface. Uh, like a common argument in Android is the argument of conformity uh, versus like, uh, you know, uh, customization. Uh, and I think some manufacturers are veering more towards customization, whereas others are veering towards conformity a little bit more. Uh, so we can just first have a look at the Xperia XZ, which has had Nugget for a couple of weeks now. Uh, and basically uh, with the XZ, every now and again, I get a software update on the phone, which is quite a hefty software update. Uh, but nothing really seems to change in terms of the actual software. So I think Sony is following the conformity kind of model here when it comes to Android Nugget. Uh, you can see the notification shade is pretty much like any other uh, Nugget running Android phone. Uh, you're also getting, uh, you know, like a very kind of light uh, overlay here in terms of the app drawer. Uh, and the settings also doesn't look particularly different from what you're getting uh, from other Android phones. It is a little bit more Sony kind of stylized, obviously, but uh, there are like, uh, I'd say, a lot of missing things that you would get on some other uh, like Nugget devices, which we will cover with the other phones. Uh, but overall, you know, it's a very nice, uh, like fluid kind of UI on the uh, Sony kind of skin here. But I do wish that they would bring back like the ice cream sandwich kind of uh, Sony UI, which had like a dark theme at the top. It gave it a very nice uh, kind of custom uh, like interface, uh, something, you know, Sony could stand out from the pack from. Uh, so moving on, uh, we do have the OnePlus 3T, which was recently updated as well. Uh, they have made some effort on the OnePlus 3T in terms of like improving the shelf area, which was a little bit bland and kind of cyanogen mod uh, before, but now it looks a lot more uh, like uniform to Nugget now and has uh, you know a lot of nice features and feeds coming in. Uh, the actual interface is very customizable. As you can see, I've got a circular kind of theme here, which I think really looks awesome. Uh, the actual uh, notification shade is very similar to the Sony one and other Android phones, so not uh, too different there. Uh, but the in the actual uh, settings, you'll see that there is quite a lot of uh, nice uh, customization that you can still do uh, with the Oxygen OS. Uh, so they have, uh, I'd say, given you some customization here while keeping it uh, close to stock. Uh, it's a very nice uh, fine line that they actually are uh, walking here. Uh, I don't think uh, we do get the like uh, ability to do the force touch mode though, which I would like to see, I think, on uh, OnePlus 3 uh, devices. Uh, moving on, we do have the S7 Edge, which is varying all the way over to the customization kind of model here. And you'll either love it or hate it when it comes to Samsung handsets. So you can see the notification shade very different here in terms of how it looks like, in terms of the colors, etc. Uh, but uh, there are several features which I really do love about the Nugget update on uh, the uh, S7 Edge and that are that is the uh, like the ability to change the resolution of the display uh, that uh, is uh, particularly useful if you want to conserve battery life or maybe even speed up the phone a little bit uh, you can also put on the performance mode as well if you want the maximum kind of performance uh, which is pretty awesome so uh, there is obviously the Samsung uh, news area, which is quite nice in terms of how fluid it is. Before it was a little bit slow and laggy, but they really improved that. Uh, and you know that uh, that touch feature that I was talking about, like the force touch feature, you do get that with the Samsung phones, uh, which is uh, pretty epic that they have included that. So I definitely think Samsung's making the most effort when it comes to you know customizing the Nugget here. It uh, certainly feels like a brand new phone, really, in terms of you know all the features and things that have changed since it first launched. Uh, in terms of LG, LG actually was, I think, the first manufacturer to have Nugget on like a non-Pixel or Nexus phone. 
So uh, I'd say that the, the software here is uh, quite customized. You know, it's got the LG kind of uh, interface, like the square kind of icons, uh, but there don't, doesn't seem to be that much new really in regards to, for example, changing the uh, you know the display resolution which I think would be really helpful in conserving battery life uh, there are quite a few nice features that are carried over from other LG and older LG handsets such as the you know knock-on feature uh, as well as uh, the dual screen uh, customization you can see I've put Jojo up there again and uh, that is quite cool but I think uh, you know you're missing the the uh, force touch feature here uh, which uh, would be nice to see we're still getting this kind of like customization thing here which uh, you know that's been on like since the LG G2 even you know even that old kind of thing so it feels very different in some aspects to Nugget uh, and I think uh, LG could definitely probably you know bring some of these Samsung features that we do know and love uh, to the LG kind of handsets as well uh, but I am going to also talk about the camera uh, in a bit as well which I think LG is doing pretty well you know in terms of the software now the pixel phone uh, is a pr pretty unique nugget kind of experience here uh, it has been unique since it actually first launched you can see you actually have a different app draw kind of swipe gesture you also have your you know uh, google now assistant which you swipe to the right to get access to and i still think it's probably among the best in terms of the personal assistance at least until the bigsby comes with the Galaxy S8 which is rumored to be really good uh, but you can see the actual notification shades very similar to uh, other uh, you know nugget phones and uh, on the uh, pixel phone you do have I'd say the best in class support uh, like if you have a little query you can contact a Google representative straight away which is pretty nice you're also getting the fastest updates obviously uh, to, we got Android 7.1.1 whereas all the other phones are on Android 7 so they still probably have bugs on them uh, and you're also getting the background updates which I think is absolutely epic when it comes to not having to restart your phone you know faff around it all updates in the background which is pretty awesome uh, so there's definitely uh, some nice features here you're also getting the force touch uh, feature here which you know you can uh, use to get access to shortcuts and, and stuff which is quite nice uh, but you do know my uh, feelings in regards to the pixel I do wish that they bring back the Nexus and the more affordable pricing model overall but if you can afford it you're still getting among the best Android experience overall really uh, so as you can see you know there is a massive difference here in terms of the Android Nugget uh, experience you know we still have a lot of fragmentation uh, I think uh, you know a little bit of uh, customization is still very good for Android as long as you get your fast updates still and it doesn't detract too far away from the core experience uh, and also I did mention you know the cameras here uh, very uh, like uh, different again in regards to the amount of effort each manufacturer is doing you can see Samsung and LG I think are ahead when it comes to the manual modes LG is absolutely epic <laughs> when it comes to its uh, video recording uh, manual mode uh, which allows you to control pretty much everything uh, Samsung is not far behind uh, I think, uh, I don't even know if we get uh, manual mode here with the Pixel phone. Uh, we may do, it may be just like hidden somewhere, but it doesn't immediately jump out at me that uh, the UI is quite as good as what you're getting with Samsung or LG. Uh, the OnePlus 3T definitely does come with a manual mode, which is quite decent actually. Uh, you can control pretty much uh, you know what you want to control there. Uh, Sony recently updated its uh, like camera app here. I think it was a couple of months ago it updated it actually. 
but it still feels a little bit old compared to you know where uh, the other phones you do get a manual mode but it doesn't feel quite as refined as what you get on Sony and Samsung uh, but nevertheless it is nice that you do get uh, you know your augmented reality still we still like to have fun with that uh, with the dinosaurs crawling on your screen etc so very different uh, cameras here obviously you can install a third party one uh, that is the benefit of uh, Android, you can do that if you want, uh, but uh, yeah, you know, uh, very different uh, Android Nugget experiences here uh, on these phones, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the comparison, found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.